The Dark Tower is a long-running series filled with imagination, memorable characters, stunning visuals, amazing heroes and villains, and is powered by a die-hard fanbase. With so much promise, you'd have to be a complete moron to screw up something like, Oh, hello, Sony! What are you doing here? I thought Disney banned you from coming within 500 feet of any property that had potential. Now, before we begin this review, I'd just like to say that I know The Dark Tower has tons of fans, but I've honestly never read it. Although, this movie did make me intrigued to do so because I saw a lot of good ideas in here. But I didn't see a good movie. This is the story of a young boy with psychic visions who finds himself transported to another world where he has to team up with the Gunslinger, a mysterious man who is, well, a gunslinger, and the two of them have to stop the Man in Black, a warlock who is attempting to take down a tower that guards the multiverse from all the demons and evil spirits from the dark corners of reality. I feel like Stephen King wanted this to be a metaphor for something in his life, but I'm not sure what. But that's a discussion for another day. Throughout this movie, this duo goes back and forth from the gunslinger's world to Earth, so don't expect to see this big crazy fantasy land for long, because it doesn't take long for this movie to turn into just Idris Elba shooting people in a big empty warehouse, which, hey, if that was the premise of the film, then I'd be fine watching that, but honestly, I feel kinda disappointed that you gave us this concept of a faraway demon world, and we don't even stop there for gas. We just keep on driving by. But I understand why we couldn't spend too much time there. That would require money. That would require the people making this movie to care, and wow did the people making this movie not care. This movie takes eight novels and just crams things from each of them randomly into this film, including skipping the first book almost entirely, which seems like it would have been important to understanding any of this. Then it takes these lengthy novels and cuts them down to a brisk 90 minutes so it feels like you're just adapting the Cliff Notes version of the series. And again, I haven't read the books, but just as a film goer, yeah, you can tell this is jumping through this story by leaps and bounds. So you've got a poorly paced film with pretty poor editing, but hey, Idris Elba, Matthew McConaughey, those two are powerhouse actors. Clearly, their charisma will carry you through this movie, right? What charisma? Yes, I love both these actors, but they are flat as boards of wood in this movie. Idris Elba grumbles half his dialogue, and McConaughey is supposed to basically be the devil himself, but he feels like somewhere between Dr. Claw and a really forgettable James Bond villain. Who is that guy from the Pierce Brosnan ones who couldn't feel his nerves? I forget his names, but you know who I'm talking about, right? Yeah, that guy. But both of them don't even compare to the kid who is supposed to be the star of this thing. The one the audience is supposed to connect with. The central focus of the entire movie. This kid has zero character to him. He is non-existent. He is there to be a plot device. He is there solely to be the thing that the gunslinger has to explain stuff to and the thing the man in black wants to steal. That's it. You could literally have replaced him with a paperweight and this movie probably wouldn't have been that different. And again, that's not me insulting the actor. I mean, for God's sakes, they made Idris Elba and Matthew McConaughey bad actors in this thing. That's me insulting the writing and the directing. That's me saying they clearly did not care about this character. They just needed someone there so that Idris Elba could explain stuff to. So a bland story that they skip over too quickly, actors who are either non-existent or trying their hardest to act like they are, terrible editing that takes the impact out of the big action scenes, bad sound editing, yeah, I didn't cover that here before, but trust me, even if you don't normally notice stuff like that, you'll notice it in this film, and just cheap, cheap-ass production. I mean, for God's sakes, the Man in Black's henchmen all dressed like they showed up to the set and then they realized they forgot to get them costumes, so they just said, eh, screw it, bad guys can wear t-shirts and jeans, right? Yeah, let's, let's just shoot this thing already. So, with all that, is there anything good in here? Honestly, not really. However, there isn't a whole lot that is offensive, either. Yeah, this movie is bad, but if it was the first episode of a TV show with the same level of production and the same quality of acting, I'd look at it and be like, nah, whatever, I can kill two hours with this on in the background. This is one of those films that you put on when you have a lot to do, 
but you want something on TV to intrigue you, but not distract you. Something that you can just look up at every now and again and go, oh, that seems kind of neat, then go back to your work. So because even though it's not good, the fact that it's fairly harmless keeps this movie from dropping too far down. So I give it a 3.5 out of 10. Although, I will repeat, I've not read the books, and I will say that the theater that I saw this in had about 20 to 30 fans of the books there who all came in a group, and after the movie was over with, all of them just sat there raging at this film. So, yeah, if you are a fan of the books, just go ahead and take another point off that score. It's, that seems about right for you. Thanks for tuning in today. We do these main reviews every single weekend here on the Professor Thorgy channel, as well as spoiler discussions. In fact, we got one for the Dark Tower up right there, so if you want to see that, make sure that you click on. And if you want to see any other reviews from us, then make sure that you click that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Tumblr at Professor Thorgy. Thanks again, everyone. Come back next time.